All right, sorry to be late on this video, but uh, we're going to start anyway. This is Gray Fox 37, and we're doing uh, World 1 Level 4 of Super Mario 3 today. So this is the very first level in the game, entire game series at this time that has an auto-scroll to it. So basically the screen's going to move uh, to the right automatically. There's going to be a lot of moving platforms, falling platforms, you name it. It's not too tough. World 3 is when one gets really annoying. Now, this is a special world that I was going to mention to you guys to where basically there was going to be a secret to it. So here's what you do, basically. Um, stats for the world is there's one power-up location and there's one, one uh, hidden one up here. I don't know how many coins, but in this level, if you gather at least 44 coins, you're going to be able to get a white mushroom house. Now, there's certain levels in each map to where you basically ha can obtain a, a white mushroom house. You, the levels basically means you have to collect a certain number of coins. World 6 is really tough because you have to collect like 81 in that one. So, but if you know the pattern and everything, it's not too hard to collect. In this level, you have to collect at least 44 coins in order to make that appear. On even numbered levels, white mushroom houses will give you pea wings. So that's basically the raccoon tail with unlimited flight per le or in the level you go into. If you do odd number, you get an anchor, or excuse me, even number, you get an anchor. And what an anchor does is, like, say, heaven forbid you die on a, an airship, which we'll get to eventually at the end of the world one here. If you get if you die in an airship, it anchors it to stay at the palace as opposed to flying off to a different spot to where maybe it might go behind some levels you chose not to play. Now of course we're going to be playing every level in this game, so it doesn't matter, but it's still pretty fun if you're you know speeding through and you're not like an expert speedrunner. So let's let the fun begin. <laughs> All right, here we go. As you can see, it's gonna have a raccoon tail here. So that's six coins so far. And as you can see, the ring or the platform just keep coming down. Yeah, that's where the one up is, but it's going by line. <laughs> if you look in opposite directions, it'll go the opposite direction. So, oh, there's the power of location. Oh, yeah, there's another one up location. Oh, I just. Alright, we're gonna start over here. <laughs> I forgot there was another one up location. Like, one of these has got a one up. There's gonna be more than one. So, the stats lied to me. So, yeah, that was me being a doofus there. <laughs> and it's gone. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Alright, so let's go ahead. There we go. See, I look to the left and I move to the right. That's another cool little tip for you guys there. So that's 12 points. Alright, let's get that one of me. Alright, here we go. And I got the other one. That's either 15 or 18 the lost. The lost count. Oh yeah, here's where you want to basically get. Yeah, we're probably not gonna make a white mushroom house up here. That was crappy there. And this is the end of the level here. Scratch my head real quick here. I'll tell you what, we're gonna start over because I want. Oops. What did I just do? What did I just do? Oh, okay, there we go. <laughs> Alright, let's just do this one more time. Yeah, I want to make the white mushroom house appear, because I just love doing that. The uh, emulator we're using is JNES, by the way, I think it's like one or something. I think we have one of the older uh, versions of it, but it's, it's an older version, but it still, still checks out, so I don't know if that one to go, but that's okay. World. It goes right into the new platform, that's a game. Okay, so now... And I got it. <laughs> Oops, and I selected Fire Mario. Boy, I'm just scooping up left and right today. 
Like I said, I am pretty damn rusty. <laughs> Plus, I'm kind of just in like absolute like shock and amazement right now. Basically, at uh, two things. Gonzaga got a last second three pointer with Suggs, and they're going to the championship, so this is the first time I've ever picked a correct championship in all of basketball since so Gonzaga Baylor. And that was my championship. And then our Arizona Wildcats are going to the national championship in women's against Stanford, so it's a Pac 12 championship, ironically enough. Now, Stanford's uh, beaten Arizona twice this season. Third time's a charm, as they say. Oh, that's not even enough. Oh, nice. Yeah, I just... <laughs> In my entire, you know, I was so frustrated with that there that I just basically, you know, I guess I gave up at the end there. <laughs> what were you saying there, Pikachu? Sorry. Yeah, I didn't think that... I didn't think Arizona was going to be UConn. I was, I was completely surprised by that. I was just like, yeah, you know, it's been a good run, but the Lady Cats got in the final four, but yeah, UConn's like legendary, and you know, Arizona's defense, which is way better, and Ari McDonald was just outstanding, so now they actually are better than the men's team, which is sad, because that's what Arizona's known for. Nothing against women or anything, but yeah, it sucks. Yeah. Sucks dick. <laughs> yeah, I missed that jump. Oh. I was, uh, too greedy on wings of pastrami. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. You know, it's just, it's just really sad to see, you know, that Arizona men's program is just, you know, mediocre at best now, basically. It just, it's a sad feeling, but, you know, it is what it is for now. I'm just glad that they have some pretty prominent players that want to stay around. Well, I, well, some grad students, grad students are obviously leaving and all, but uh, like James and Kim Joe's going to test the in Bay Waters and didn't hire a uh, um, agent, which is good, so you can come back at any time. And there's been a few other Arizona players in my time that have tested the NBA Waters, so we'll see what happens. Seven points. Let's see if that's enough. That said 44, but I think that might have been a misprint, or it might have been just for the Super Nintendo version of this game. Mario All Stars. Well, I made it through the level. Now there's a Boomerang Brothers. Just, you know. Oh, now yeah, yeah, it's okay. I didn't hit it at a 45 degree angle, but oh well. So let's see if it appears. Let's see if I get lucky. Nope, I didn't get lucky. <laughs> You gotta get all ten points in that in that brick more than likely. That's what I think it was. But anyway, it, this like white it, it moves back. It's white a white mushroom out, so it moves back and forth like the hammer brother there. And then you get a peewee. Basically, that's what it is. Now well, you know it's not the end of the world. We'll try again at world two level two. That's gonna be the next one there. So that's that's level that's level four in all its glory, and that's me being rusty and goofing up and. Get, and that's, I guess, the limit of my frustration with this game. Well, usually sometimes I get frustrated, like, sign a French! But in this case, it's more so like, man, because it's not the end of the world. I'm not trying to impress or show off. I'm just trying to guide if anybody even cares. <laughs> There's so many people that play this game, speedrun it, have seen it, you know, playthroughs of better players and things of that nature. But, you know, I don't hear anybody talking or anything like that. I mean, sometimes people are annoyed by it, and I don't believe it. It's like, I just want to watch the game, don't want to hear anybody bullshit like Ray Fox or Pikachu, you know, they're just a bunch of annoying people, yeah, I don't blame you at that point, but, uh, yeah, that's it for that video, so next video we're going to do, which is also going to be for today, we're just going to sum up, uh, NCAA basketball, so if you guys are sports enough, we'll be summing up the, uh, basically the men's, uh, tournament there, and just kind of talking a few things about, uh, through that there, and we'll also talk about a few, a few things we did in the day today, so, hey, we'll see you in the next video, so Great box three seven. Oh sure, go. Um, the uh uh auto scrolling on this uh, level reminds me of like I see some uh whatever like, Mario Smash Brothers and they had like an ice mountain or something in there and you had to fight the ice climbers on it and it was auto scrolling and I'm like, I'm trying to beat you up and make you throw you off the ledges. I don't want this damn stupid uh thing to keep moving. Tough. <laughs> oh, Alright, well, we'll see you in the next video. Anyway, yeah. this is Great Fox 77. And, you know.
you know, hopefully we won't be ice scrolling too much. I know. <laughs>